Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, my, everyone. Name my name is Nafisa Issa. I'm a graduate, graduate student, student at Port Valley State University. University. Today, Today I'll, be I'll be talking, talking about, about the prevalence of toxic levels of gossip in cotton seed and the current knowledge base of farmers and cotton gene personnel about like the dangers of co gossip oil. First of all, I would like to give a brief introduction about gossip oil. Gossip oil is a toxic substance that is normally contained in cotton plants and that the amount of gossip oil in a whole cotton seed varies depending on the cotton species. And during the growing seasons, environmental conditions and oil extraction process, um, gossip oil comes in two different um, forms. You have the free gossip oil, and then you have the active form, which is protein bound. And on to the next, I'll be talking about the gossip oil chemistry, like what the um, what's its chemical components. Gossip oil is normally crystalline in nature. It has a yellow pigment. It's insoluble in water and hexane, and it's also soluble in acetone. And Pigment glands contain gossip oil and they are identified by, by um, it being like having Happy. black tiny spots found in the cotton, cotton, and um, the seeds. The seeds have the highest concentration of this gossip oil. What? Okay. Can you hear me? Yes, there was an echo when Caroline logged in, but I think now that she muted herself, I think we're okay. Okay, so on to the next, I'll be talking about gossip poisoning itself. So consumption of cotton seed products contain excessive free gossip, gossip which may cause the gossip poisoning and which may also like result in chronic or acute um poisoning to human beings. Gossip poisoning is sometimes related to cardiovascular and renal um, problems in humans and animals. For example, acute heart failure may result as a result of being exposed to high level of gossip poisoning. And actually some studies have suggested that um, the toxicity associated with gossip might also affect fertility and also, um, the next on my next slide, I'll be talking about the aim of the study. So I have like five my five aims here for studying this um, particular concentrate in cotton seed. First of all, I will be trying to identify the toxic hazards of gossip oil in cotton seed, and second of all, I will try to determine current knowledge of cotton farmers and gene operat operators on dangers of gossip oil. And also I will try to see if farmers can be poisoned by handling gossip oil for pro prolonged periods. And lastly, I will try to determine the evidence of, of the effect of gossip oil on specific human populations, such as the cotton farmers, the gene operators and uh, employees who works uh, at the cotton um, production factories. And I'll be using um, two methods in, in this research. The first method will be the extraction of gossip with the use of acetone. And then second one will be um, analyzing um, the gossip with um, high performance um, HPLC. So, during the method of extraction of gossip, we are going to get cotton seed from various genes in Georgia. We are going to process those cotton seeds, take them out, crush them out, um, try to like extract the gossip using acetone. And then we are going to process it. And after processing it, we are going to send it to UGA to go through analysis so we can see the elemental concentration, the kind of type of chemicals that are composed in it. and um get some results and then after all that is done i will um write results about it and talk more about the research then i will have the full res result of the whole research because now the research is ongoing thank you wonderful thank you i'm glad we were able to hear from you